In this video, we're going to decrease amounts by percentages. I'm going to go through six different examples. If you'd like to have a go at these yourself before we go through them, pause the video and press play when you're ready. A percentage decrease can be calculated by first working out the decrease and then by subtracting it from the original amount. Here's the first example, decrease 40 by 20%. So first, let's find 10% of 40 by dividing it by 10. 40 divided by 10 is 4. Then we multiply the answer by 2 to find 20%. 4 times 2 is 8. So 20% of 40 is 8. So the next step is to subtract it from the original amount. So 40 subtract 8 is 32. So 40 decreased by 20% is 32. Here's the next example. Decrease 60 by 35%. First we find 10% of 60 by dividing it by 10. 60 divided by 10 is 6. Then we multiply the answer by 3 to find 30%. 6 times 3 is 18. Then if we divide the 10% answer by 2, we can find 5%. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So 35% of 60 is 21. So the next step is to subtract it from the original amount. 60 take away 21 is 39. So 60 decreased by 35% is 39. Here's the next example. Decrease 80 by 60%. So first we can find 50% by dividing 80 by 2. 80 divided by 2 is 40. Then we can find 10% by dividing 80 by 10. 80 divided by 10 is 8. So 60% of 80 is 48. So the next step is to subtract it from the original amount. 80 take away 48 is 32. So 80 decreased by 60% is 32. Here's the next example. Decrease 520 by 65%. To find 50% of the number, we divide it by 2. 520 divided by 2 is 260. To find 10% of the number, we divide it by 10. 520 divided by 10 is 52. Then if we divide the 10% answer by 2, we can find 5%. 52 divided by 2 is 26. So 65% of 520 is 338. So the next step is to subtract it from the original amount. 520 take away 338 is 182. So 520 decreased by 65% is 182. Here's another example. Decrease 110 by 70%. So first we can find 10% of the number by dividing it by 10. 110 divided by 10 is 11. Then we multiply the answer by 7 to find 70%. 11 multiplied by 7 is 77. So 70% 70 of 110 is 77. The next step is to subtract it from the original amount. 110 
Takeaway, 77, is 33. So 110 decreased by 70% is 33. Here's the last example. Decrease 600 by 12%. First, we can find 10% of the number by dividing it by 10. 600 divided by 10 is 60. One way that we can find 2% is dividing the 10% answer by 5. 60 divided by 5 is 12. So 12% 12 of 600 is 72. So the next step is to subtract it from the original amount. 600 take away 72 is 528. So 600 decreased by 12% is 528. Here's an extra challenge. Two stores have the same jacket but priced differently and is offering a sale discount. Which store will sell the jacket cheaper? Remember, you need to work out the decrease first, then subtract the answer from the original amounts. Let me know your answer in the comments section.